Okay, the task and the math section of it. This is a great place, a great concept to start learning, okay? Especially, obviously, about the math section for the task, okay? Now, what that thing is, I'm going to uh, share with you in a quick second. I'm going to actually the name of it. Um, however, it's just one of the most critical kind of fundamental things, along with other things, obviously. But this is a one. This this thing we're going to talk about quickly in this video is critical. Now, you might be looking at these two problems I have down here, and saying to yourself, "Oh, these look pretty easy." So, what I'd like you to do, and I'll explain to you in a second why I have uh, uh, two versions of these problems. But just let's forget about that for now. Why don't you take a moment? You should take no more than say 30 seconds, 15 seconds, and pause the video and do this problem. Okay, so 20 divided by two times two. What is the answer? Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the, at the question, all right? So let's look at it at this uh, approach. I'll tell you the answer here in a second. But let's suppose you said, hmm, 20 divided by 2 is uh, is 10, right? So that would be 10 times 2. So 10 times 2 is equal to 20, and that is the answer. So looks good to me. Everything seems correct, right? Um, however, what if someone approached the problem this way? They said, well, 20 divided by 2 times 2 I see, I see, 2 times 2 is 4, so that gives me 20 divided by 4, and 20 divided by 4 is 5, okay? Got a little bit of a problem here. I got two answers. I got 20 and I have 5, but let's just look at the steps of each problem. Did I do anything incorrect here? 20 divided by 2, that is 10, right? And then 10 times 2 is 20. So these steps, the steps here... At least the sub-steps of this problem are correct. And then looking over here, let's see, 20 divided by 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Yep, that's correct. And 20 divided by 4 is 5, because 5 times 4 is 20. So both of these problems seem correct. Obviously, one is right and one is wrong. Okay? So this is... The thing that we're going to talk about quickly in this video, all right, the one that's correct, all right, is this problem right here, okay? I'll explain to you here in a second why this is correct. This seems logical, and it says, well, I'm doing this right, but this is incorrect. So in order for us not to make this mistake and to understand what's going on here in mathematics and on the task, okay, remember the task, okay, is covering a lot of algebra and geometry, but before you can do well in those subjects, you really do have to have a strong fundamental sense of arithmetic, okay? Let's just call that middle school math or elementary school math, whatever the case is. That's also part of the math skills you need to have, and that's what we're going to talk about here because it's such a common place where students make a mistake, all right, so if you think that, oh, yeah, no, I, I got this problem, this problem is easy enough. Well, in a more complicated arithmetic problem, even the best of students can mess up. So you really need to pay attention and focus this, uh, focus on doing this. Now, before we go any further, I'm only going to give you a quick, uh, quick summary of what uh, we're going to be talking about. If you need more uh, detail, you want a more of a comprehensive course, the link in my uh, the video uh, the description of this video is a link to my task math accelerated course if you're interested. Okay, but it's in the um, if, you're, if you need something more comprehensive. Uh, but let's get into what we're going to learn here. All right. So why is this one right and this one wrong? Well, it's basically this concept called or the order of operations. Okay, the order of operations, and we have a nice little saying here: P a PEMDAS. P-E-M-D-A-S, and hopefully that might ring some alarm bells in your memory, PEMDAS. There's a little saying that goes with it. It's very popular. It's been around for years. It's, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, okay? You're like saying to yourself, what does this mean? <laughs> what does this have to do with this problem? Well, I'm going to explain this, okay? So let's take a look, further look at this here, P E M. Uh, D A S. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually 
do it both ways. P E M D A S. So the order of operations, that's what we're talking about here, okay? It's very important in math. And what does it mean? Well, it means what it says. It's the order in which we do operations. What is an operation in math? Well, it is adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, and taking powers. Okay, and there's a few other ones, but these are the big ones, okay? So the order of operations says, hey, look, there is an order in which we have to do these op uh, operations, okay? The order is this right here. So the first thing is the P, and the P stands for parentheses. So anytime you see things inside parentheses or other grouping symbols, parentheses, they could be brackets like this. They can even be little squiggly brackets like that. You're going to go to those first, okay? And you're going to work from the inside out. Again, this is a quick tutorial on this topic. Um, uh, I have a ton of other videos on this. Well, let me see, I don't know about a ton, but I do teach uh, some of this on my uh, YouTube channel and other videos. But again, if you look for something really comprehensive, then you want to check out my course. But anyways, let's see, I, I, I'm kind of rushing because I don't want you to just be like, oh yeah, I got that real quick. No, you need to practice this and you do a lot of different problems because it's that important. But anyways, the P is when you see a problem, let's say I had something like this. Okay, the P would say, okay, do what's inside the parentheses first. Okay, that's the P, right? So if you have no parentheses, you can just move on. Now the E stands for exponents, but that's really, you're going to do powers next. All right, things that are like two squared or three to the fourth power. So here, in this particular problem, I would do eight minus three, right, which is five. So then I would take care of that. I'm still left with five squared over six. So now the next thing I would do would be this step, okay? Very specifically, E, powers and exponents. Now the next two is multiplication and division and addition and subtraction. Now this is where students, they kind of know this, but they don't really know it fully, okay? Most students think that you're always gonna do multiplication, always, always, and then division, okay? And then you're always going to do addition first and then subtraction last, always, always. That's not the case. So let's look at the, this. Let's look at the PEMDAS this way. The multiplication and division and addition and subtraction is whatever you see first from left to right. So, for example, if I see multiplication on the left, so let's say I had 4 times 2 divided by 3, I see multiplication first. So I'm going to do that first. Okay, because it's it's the first from the left. But if I had four divided by two times three, I don't do this because it's m. It's because it's multiplication. No, that's incorrect. You would do the division because it's what I see first from the left to right. So PEMDAS, really, you could write it this way. We don't want to give you a lot of acronyms. To remember, you could go P E M. D, M, and then you can even do S, A, and you can have all these different kind of uh, variations of things. But uh, that's just, you know, too much to, uh, to kind of remember. So just remember PEMDAS, but the M and a D part and the A and S part is whatever you see uh, comes first from left to right. So now knowing that, we can kind of go up to our original problem and say, okay, I see here, if we, let, well, let me just say it this way. I suspect that some of you probably remember that. PEMDAS, P-E-M-D-A-S, okay? But you're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do multiplication first. If I did multiplication first, guess what? I would have been in this situation. So I purposely made this problem a little bit sneaky. So if you got this right, thinking, yeah, I'm following PEMDAS, look at me, boom, 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 wrong answer, right? You gotta completely understand it, and this is the correct, uh, the correct answer, okay? Because we saw, division before multiplication on the left. So these little details, okay, it's really gonna make the difference on your ability to, you know, calculate correctly uh, for the task, okay? You remember math, there's really no shortcuts. When you're trying to identify the right answer and stuff, you really have to know your stuff. The good news is 
if you get a strong foundation of the fundamentals, okay, and that's why I named this video the perfect thing to start. The perfect thing to start learning math is not to jump right into the algebra and all this advanced stuff. That's not the perfect place until you've mastered the fundamentals. So I've talked about this in other videos. Those fundamentals would be obviously uh, the order of operations, okay? Make sure you have that down completely. Um, things like fractions, okay? Uh, percent is another good one. Another big one where students make a lot of errors in is positive and negative numbers. Okay, we call those the real numbers. So I'm just writing some of these down. The majority of time, okay, when I'm looking at students' work, if they're struggling, they're struggling in here. Okay, you have a weak foundation. So it, it won't take you too long to concentrate and focus, but, do, but the key to master these uh, skills is not to watch a quick tutorial like what you just did and be like, okay, I got that. Okay, <laughs> if you have that, I got that. Here, let's just write that down. I got that. Yeah, yeah, I got that. I got that. I hear that from my son all the time. Yeah, I got that. Guess what? Five, ten minutes later, he's messing up again, right? <laughs> How do I know that? I'm sure we're, you know, all of us are, when we're young or, you know, you think you kind of know that. Yeah, I got that. I'm going to rush. I don't have time for that. Listen, you're going to make mistakes, okay? So if you don't think like I got that, you need to practice. That's great that you got that. Guess what? To, to keep it. You don't want, I got that. You need to, I keep that. I uh, keep <laughs> that, let's say, for example, right? Because that's what you're going to need to have in your possession when you go in and take this task exam. It's not like I got that now for this particular video. It's I, I, I kept that, all right? And the only way you're going to do that is through practice, a lot of practice. And not only just practice, but see, demonstrate practice, having a teacher explain to you, you know, going over several type of prompts. That's the type of thing that you're going to get in uh my accelerator course again it's in the uh, uh, link in the description of this video so if you need help okay you can take my course or find another course and get yourself connected with a great teacher all right someone knows what they're doing uh, but why would you want to do it the long way you know and what i mean the long way is to teach yourself math that's tough you know that's you know we all need teachers in our life okay you can you can try to look at let's just do this real quick if you do this by, uh, on your own, why do this on your own? You got all this stuff to learn. Some of it's more important than others. You know, if you have a great teacher, all right, um, someone like myself, but I'm not the only great teacher in the world. There's a lot of great teachers out there, but you have to connect with them. You have to find them. They're going to be able to accelerate your time, okay, and really focus you in. So that's important, all right? Of course, you need to do a lot of things on your own, but you you should find yourself a teacher. You know, it's just like in business, we call teachers like mentors and things like that. Trust me, they're the way they're, they're going to compress the timeline you need to, to succeed. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please consider uh, subscribing to my channel. I do a ton of videos like this, trying to help uh, those folks out. A lot of different areas in math. Uh, I do a lot of test prep, task, I said GED, other type of test, public schools. It doesn't make a difference. Anyone who has a, a need to learn math, you know, that's where my passion's at. Remember, um, if you do subscribe, make sure you hit that bell notification so you can get my latest uh, videos. If you like the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and leave me some comments. I get a ton of comments. I'm grateful for that. I try to read as many as I can, but it gives me ideas on, uh, you know, uh, future videos. So anyways, thanks for your time. Hope you got something uh, valuable out of this video and have a great day.